I don't think it was about that with these cars, was it? No. It is so good. Yeah, yeah. It is. Lovely. <laughs> I'm just double checking, it's not my car. <laughs> It feels like I'm doing my driving test again. <laughs> Ooh, what was that? Did I stole it? Yeah. No. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I didn't stall that. It done it itself. Welcome back Moe Addicts everyone. That was a bit enthusiastic, but I'll carry on. We have got a Ford Fiesta XR2, Bogo. Now I have owned one of these for about 24 hours. I'll tell you the story in a bit, but let's have a look around this. Right, so this is Trev, who has, who has bought us this absolutely stunning, and you've just painted it as well, haven't you? Yeah, a couple of months ago, yeah. A couple of months yeah. ago, so it does look spank. Were, were they this colour? Yeah. They were? They yeah. were they're yeah. red and orange and That's different they bits? Were. Well, I hope so. So you, <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope so, otherwise you've got to get it redone. Um, how long have you owned this car for? Uh, about 18 months. 18 months, and what, what were your memories of these as a kid then? Because obviously you mentioned to me you had a couple of mark twos but you didn't have xr2 oh yeah well 17 18 years old all i wanted was one of these couldn't afford one i had uh, a popular um with the xr2 pepper pots yeah wheel and all that in it um because it was all about replicas back then wasn't it we used to buy the 1.2s or yeah. whatever and then make it look like yeah one. i was only 17 back then his insurance was Insurance was the thing I couldn't afford. Oh, bloody Couldn't so, afford one of these, so yeah. No, it is a, it, I must admit, it's probably one of the best examples. When you actually came up to me at Oso Retro and said, oh, I've got an XR2 you may be interested in, I thought, oh, okay, it'll be an old bit of a batty one, yeah. but it's actually stunning. Yeah. The other, the, um, the story I had with one of these cars is I bought uh, a car for a day. It was in St. Peter's, I bought it, I went there, it was about 500 quid, and then basically I took it to my mate's garage, he got it in the air, and once it was up in the air, I said to him, do you want it? Because after the state <laughs> at the bottom of it, I was like, he said, yeah, I'll give you 400 quid. So basically he lost 100 quid within a day, yeah. but I have owned one. Never actually, <laughs> I drove it there. That's as yeah. far as I've got, and I've never been in one since. Engine wise on this, is it totally standard? E everything on it's totally standard. Let's yeah. have a look yeah, under yeah. the bonnet then. The reason I bought it, because I saw it come up on a XR2 Facebook page. Yeah. And I it was told that all the rust had been done. I know that's what kills these, is the rust. So yeah, went to look at it and yeah, and it just needed the paintwork. Cool, cool, that was a bit of a, you, you, you were confident in it's that, right. weren't you? It's a strong hinge. But um, yeah, so again, I, we were talking about this earlier. I don't know how much these are probably worth these engines now. They must be a, a couple of grand probably. Oh, probably, yeah. I know all the bits on these are mega money now, really. So I've, I was amazed how much things cost on these now. It's, so you said when you bought the car as well, just before the engine, you you said it looked great on top. Yeah, it's just it just needed a bit of paintwork really. The the guy I bought it off, he he done a cracking job of doing everything underneath, and then uh, he took the kit off when he had it, and it was rotten. All the arches, so it has new wings, new seals, new rear arches, new boot floor, um, and then he 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 had a I think it's an unexpected pregnancy. Oh. With his wife, so and the fourth that, child, and I uh, tell you what, that is the disaster for any man yeah. in the car of their dreams. 
is have a child. Yeah. So that's why I've opted out of the situation and I don't own any uh, because I'm a bit greedy like that. Yeah. But so, uh, yeah, I, I kind of, uh, yeah, I got in there quick. The advert went up mm. and I think it was, it'd been live about an hour. I messaged him straight away. Luckily, it was, it was Paddock Wood, not too far from me. So I went to see it the next day. I turned up there and he said, I've had messages from Scotland, Northern Ireland. Everyone just wanted to just have it. And the, the reason is, is because it's a standard yeah. XR2. Yeah. If it was... A, different engine it probably wouldn't be going as quick because it's too many memories it's nostalgia as we say yeah, exactly but um so what were the horsepower of these standard then 96 96 exact, horsepower yeah, yeah and out of a 1.6 now you can get nearly 300 horsepower yeah it doesn't feel like 96 <laughs> <laughs> it it's about 46 but oh yeah, is it yeah but that, oh. it's the thing is it's you see these going about and my my favorite color in it was white but i had the yeah. Uh, sort of a bluey grey colour, yeah. um, but it didn't have pepper pots on. It had rust everywhere. It didn't look great. It was 500 quid's worth of XR2. Yeah. But, but um, the interiors, I must admit as well, while, while we're here, sporty car, but not a sporty steering wheel. Oh, that was a lovely one. Do you reckon, that was, a, that, you reckon that was sporty? It was steep. I, I had my one litre, put that on. That's the first thing I put on. Oh, I, was I it? felt like a million dollars. I've got a XR2 oh, wheel, but they're just nice and thick. You, you know... You never see another steering wheel like that, do you? It's, no, it's, it's a, a pretty unique. The one design. thing I, I do like about them is when you sit them, you just put your thumb in it. Yeah, yeah. So it's just your thumb and go. But absolutely crack. So five speed gearbox is yeah. normal. Has it got full service history, this one? It's got a lot of history. I've a still it's got all the old original books and. Bloody hell, because I did notice. In yeah. the original dealer. Oh, wow. Yeah, because that matches what's on the tailgate. Yeah, yeah. And then obviously, notice the XR2 magazine in the back. Yeah. Six per nines, obviously. That's I've the got the original shelf at home, but I, oh, you've got the original shelf. Yeah, as well? but I've got to go old school and six by nines. Well, you've got to go shelf. six yeah, by nines. What you do. Did you replace the head unit as well? Yeah, I've got the original one as well. Yeah, but, but it, it sounds all bloody awful. So I, I bet they do. No, it's, it's, it's well, it's the first things back then we used to change. That's why stereos were such a big thing exactly, back then. Exactly. Yeah. Is because obviously the stereos in the cars were crap. Yeah. Yeah. Um, You've only got to have 90s tunes in this. I don't have anything modern in it. Oh, do you not? Yeah, no, I've got all my rave CDs and everything. That's oh, <laughs> well, you've got like your garage and... But happy hardcore and, yeah, rave stuff in there. Yeah. Oh, bloody hell. Remember, look, we had a... This is a blow for the past. So we uh, we hosted Petrol Hedonism live at Nebworth. And we had DJ Kenny Ken, if oh, you yeah, remember yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, so DJ Kenny Ken, massive on the Dreamcast, Helter Skelter yeah. uh, video, um, tapes and everything else. Yeah. We had him, and it was a bit surreal for me and Owen because we're like, this is DJ Kenny Ken. What's going on? We used to listen to Kenny Ken in, in stuff like this with a subwoofer in the back. Yeah. But um, so how many miles is the car on? It's on 126,000. 126,000. Yeah. You can tell because it's an old clock. It only shows 26,000 yeah. on there. But, um, I don't think I'll get away with that. But So here's the big question before we actually have a look, see what you have to pay for them now. How much... Roughly, how much did you pay for it in the condition that you did? I paid seven and a half for it. Seven and a yeah. half. Which cool. and I and I bought mine for five hundred. Yeah, <laughs> that's how that's how scary yeah. it is nowadays. <laughs> but um, we when we go for a drive, we'll probably go and have a look, see how much they actually are worth. But what a cracking car! Yeah, it's it's just a stunner. I've I've not been out in one for a lot a lot of years. Um, I just I think we should just go for a drive. Yeah, cool, lovely, perfect. Yeah, so other than that, since getting in it, the reason why that's so close is because everything's bloody close. It's crazy, you don't realise how small they are. And this was a small family car, wasn't it? It was yeah. like a, a little car. But then I've got in and I saw a little switch, which I'm going to have to get a, 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 a bit of video of later, where you adjust the speakers just by a little, what was it called? I don't know, it's a quadraphonic sound. Quadraphonic Something. sound. <laughs> Oh dear. Right. Yeah. Well, other than that, let's go for a drive. See what it's like. Oh, the electric windows are down there as well. Oh, this is this is quite a rare option. Oh, I've is never it? Seen, I've never seen one with that. It's got a boot open. open as well. Yeah. Yeah, that doesn't work. Oh, that don't work. Well, the windows work. Well, there. If the boot don't open, that's all right. It's just getting the windows to to work. Now the itself, previous guy it? said that was like a dealer fit option or something. Oh, was it? So, yeah. Optional extra. Yeah. Bloody hell. 
But you can hear the little tappy noises yeah, that they yeah. always used to make it's as well. Proper CVH noise out. CVH. So how much were these brand new when they first came out? Because we, we spoke to Jeff about this and Jeff said they're about seven and a half grand. I, I had seven and a half a med, yeah, I think they were about that. That's why everyone had them, because they were cheap to buy. Yeah, because we put them in equivalent to houses. And back then, my dad bought our house, our family home, for 35 grand. Yeah. And then seven and a half grand for a car like that is a lot of money. Yeah, I suppose. Everyone had fast forwards back in the day, didn't they? It was... Yeah, everyone wanted a Ford back yeah. then. I, I was I was very much a Renault man. 19s, yeah. um, 21s, 11, 9, 5. They were brilliant cars. It's anything with a turbo because you're trying to find the cheapest way to get yeah. that noise. Yeah. And for me, it was always the Renaults. Yeah. Now, we, I didn't have a... I had loads of cars, never had a hot hatch till about 10 years ago. Bloody hell. And working fast car as well. Yeah, I, was, I had well, the 1960 back, that's convertible. I yeah. S13. S13s were, uh, well, how much are they worth now? Ridiculous. For a standard one, they must be at least 30 plus. Oh, yeah. Oh. How much of one? I'm going to have a look now on eBay. I'm going to do my eBay thing like I did with uh, Jeff's look at what you can find them for. You can buy a really bad one for three grand. Jesus. Four and a half grand for a bad one. I There's see. a nice one, 12 grand. So I, when I said earlier, 10, 13 grand, yeah, about right. must be about there. Wow, 12 grand now for a little Ford Fiesta. So it's a hell of a lot more money than what it was that you could buy it new for. Jeez, but then Mark One Fiesta XR2s are some money. 25 grand, 25 grand, 11 grand, that's left-hand drive. So that's money off anyway. Yeah. But wow. That is some big bucks for not a lot of car. You could buy probably, oh, here we go. Feel the power. Feel the power. <laughs> but I don't think it was about that with these cars, was it? No. She's not a quiet engine, but it yeah, goes but along all right. It makes it sound like it's going, like I noticed with all the cars back then, they sound like they're going faster than they actually are. But it's not that, it's the throwing it round roundabouts and throwing it round corners. These cars were all about the B roads back it's in the day. It's not a dual carriageway kind no, of car. Uh, no, this is a cruiser on the motorway, but uh, a little weapon on the back roads. It's a one way system motorway, isn't it? Yeah. Different it is. round town, first thing in. Yeah, that's all. It cruises long, we're doing 70 now, it, it cruises long fine. So. That's it, but still, it's just it's one of them. Like, I've, I've been in a few, only ever owned one, and that one I had obviously only had for a day, got rid of. Yeah, but I always wanted one, I ticked that box. But when we were younger and we wanted an XR2, we wouldn't look in the free ads for two grand, we'd look in the free ads for 800 quid. Yeah, they were rough and then, yeah, you'd always think, Oh, it's only going to be a little bit rough, but even back then, within five to ten years, they were rusting anyway. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you, you were never going to find a good one for five to eight hundred quid or even a grand but it's a tick in the box for me because i've always wanted one and never had one and i kept seeing the value going up and up i thought i've got to do it it's now or never and yeah i was in it had an opportunity to get it and i did i've got a few cars i have no own in my life and this is one of them I'm, well, it's, it's, it's one of the most fun cars I've ever had. It's, it's, yeah, it's not it's, quick, it doesn't handle it. As a car, it's not great, but it makes you smile. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I would love to get back in. Like, I owned a 309, obviously, when we saw Jeff. I owned yeah. a 309, which is a 1.3. Slow as hell. Yeah. But I had the most fun in it I could ever think of. Yeah. Absolutely loved them. Um, but Vauxhall and over SRs, they weren't quick. Yeah. But they were like this, wouldn't they? Yeah. They were just great fun around B fans. roads and this that and the other they always made a lot of noise with the old engines putting exhaust on it is ridiculous yeah. but for the money of this now so what what what's comparison so you can probably buy a mark 8 ford fiesta st for the same as a, an xr2 probably can yeah i was quite lucky when i, I bought this because I, I didn't tell my wife i was getting it oh uh, well yeah but no one's wives know that you're getting it no, well, she she called when I was on my way home and it's where are you? I said, I'll be a bit late. I turned up, I didn't and I didn't tell her I got it and turned up in the drive. And luckily we've been together for years so she remembers me when I, when I had these when I was in oh, right, okay. I turned up and I thought this is gonna go well really badly. It 
it went really well. She, Did it? She, yeah, she absolutely loves this car. Yeah, oh, she wicked. got in it straight away. She was so in you, the you, you would have met her then. Did you meet her when you? When yeah, you probably wanted to have her first one. Yeah, yeah. Wow. But she she had one as well. We bought her a blue popular plus for the X had two other noises. Yeah, so it brought back memories for her as well. Yeah, because I had uh, I had a friend that he had. Uh, did they do a 1.4? Yeah, 1.4S. Yeah, they yeah. done a 1.4, he turboed that, and that kept going wrong all the time, because he turboed it. It was Turbo Technics back then. Yeah. It was all, everything, if you've ever done a turbo, added a turbo to car, it's Turbo Technics. Yeah. And uh, he had that, blew that up a couple of times, but he bought a, an XR2, put one on that, blew that up a couple of times, um, just because he wanted to make it that little bit more punchier. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's, you had to spend a lot, a lot of money to get any form of superpower out of it. But even superpower out of them was 150 probably. Yeah. They just rev and the noise that echoes through. <laughs> <coughs> it sounds like we're doing 100 mile an hour. Doing but we're doing. Revs here. Yeah. Four and what does it rev up? Does it still go up to like it's 60s? Oh, red lines at 6, but. It wants, to, it wants to go at about, we want to change up at four and a half really, it's not <laughs> a diesel. Not really, I'm, I'm not, I, I love this car, I'm not a massive full geek, yeah. I, don't, I don't know the prices and everything. But no, like, when I spoke to Lee Stevens, my, my friend at the garage has just bought a Sierra, which we'll be doing a video in. <laughs> Get the tyre squirrel Tire squirrel around the roundabout. <laughs> that um, 25 on now. That's brilliant. But uh, yeah, he bought a Sierra and then I, I said, how much have you bought this for? He said, 800 quid. I said, you may as well sell it in parts. He said, yeah, that won't be worth a lot. I contacted Lee Stevens, the Ford guy, and I said, he's got an original dash. He's got an original uncracked dash. Uh, he's got cosy bumpers, this, 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 and this. And he said, mate, he's probably got about five grand in that car in, in parts. But he's bought it for 800 quid because it's got a rotten floor and he wants to build it. And I'm like, sell it, sell it for parts. Yeah. It's not an original Cosy or anything. Really weird. <laughs> really weird how much this stuff is worth now. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh. Try again. <laughs> okay. Right, reverse. Whoa. That bit, mechanical, isn't it? Mechanical. <laughs> it's in. There's no electric help with that. Right. The brakes. Oh, it's got brakes. It feels like I'm doing my driving test again. <laughs> oh, what was that? I stole it. Yeah. No. It's embarrassing, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't stole that. It done it itself. I thought I broke it then. I thought I've not even moved two meters and I've broken a car. Oh, but the gear. That's that's solid. I remember they used to wobble a lot. Yeah. That gearbox. Is not third gear. There you go. See, this is the difference. You get in the new car, you can just throw it in, you know, it's going to work. But in this, you have to, you have to, to double check. Yeah. Feel a little bit of roll. Yeah, but I like the roll. Fun, yeah. See, got to make sure it's third. Yeah. We're in third, we go. See, this is what, now they say, oh, driving tests are really hard back then. Yeah, driving the car back then was hard. <laughs> More to think about back then, wouldn't yeah. they? It does handle well though, doesn't it? She does, yeah. I'll tell you what, for its age, it's still very direct. You can tell it's all tight. Yeah. Oh, they, if you move it, it is moving the car. It goes, yeah. It's quite a lot of locks on the steering. It's not like a, a brand new car. They hardly move it, but... Yeah. It, yeah, you, you, get, you get a bit of feel through it. Temperature's still good. Temperature, yeah, it's always fine. Never overheats. I'm just double checking, it's not my <laughs> car. Oh. Yeah, once it gets to about three and a half, that's when it starts. Yeah, back you have up. to get, get the throttle right down as well. Oh, yeah, I, I was doing like half of it. Yeah, it's got a little get stiff right towards the end. Of it. See, first and fifth, I'm fine with. It's the third, it's the one in the middle. The amount of times yeah. you slip into the wrong one. But yeah, it's 70 mile an hour. It doesn't wobble all over the place. No. And I like my thumb holes. Got your thumb holes. Oh, that's a, that's, a, that's a proper horn. Good horn, good horn. Because when, 
they, whenever you get the old ones, you press them up there. Uh, <laughs> that's a solid. That's a solid <laughs> one, that one. It's because it's there, cruises along all right, isn't it? It's fine. But it's enjoyable, because the thing yeah. is, like, you hit a bump, you know it's going to move. In the new car, it just takes it. Yeah. I forgot about the brakes. Oh, yeah, we'll, I we'll, we'll start slowing down now. You can feel that. Feel the disc out of it. Yeah. Whee. There we go. All right, the, re the rear view mirror, wobbling. Yeah. Yeah, that's Standard. a bit. Uh, up there as well. Oh, yeah. It's got all the luxuries. More cons in this, mate. Do you the aircon on? No, I know that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> but I must admit, this isn't. Let's get past this Mark 7. Third gear. Yep. We carry on. Driving school. Look. Yeah. This person will have no <laughs> idea. What's that thing? It's an older one of these, mate. <laughs> It's not a blow your socks off, but they never work. No, it was never supposed to be, was it? Always panic, see? You have to you have to have all these things thinking in these old cars. You gotta <laughs> think, is that right? Is that wrong? And you always when you used to drive them, not like the uh, the new cars, yeah. you're always thinking, I hope it don't go wrong on this road. Yeah. <clears throat> Every motorway you go, oh the next services isn't for 20 miles. I hope it don't go wrong here. Because that's what it was like. They're, you used to have to worry. Having an old car was a gamble. Yeah. I remember I was, I was the AA's best friend when, for a little while. And well, yeah. Yeah, not on this one, and we old cars, yeah. I'll tell you what, the micro is AA's best friend. Seven <laughs> hours it took me to get from Farnborough back to where we're from. Yeah. It's ridiculous. I, I tell you what, mate, I've really enjoyed that. Oh, no. I won't drive it back. I'll let you drive it back. Sure. Yeah. I'm sure because. <laughs> Look, put it, put it this way, we've made it here, <laughs> with me driving, I get out, if anything goes wrong, there's nothing to do with me. <laughs> it's a race course as well, full of race fans. Um, well, that was absolutely epic. Thank you very much, Trev, mate, for uh, taking us out on that. I've not been out in one of them for ages. Totally forgot what they were. And basically, I thought they were a hell of a lot faster when we were kids, but they're not. They're actually just 90-odd horsepower. But I guarantee you, down a B road, taking corners like lunatics, that car is still a very, very special car. And it's just the things around that you can see, even as we were talking about the smell. The smell is very, very forward. Um, other than that, if you do like the nostalgia series, I'm starting to love it because I get to go out and stuff like that. And we've got another car, which the guy that's holding the camera is the son of the person that we're doing the next one with because I've got no Owen or Nick because they're bloody useless. Um, so I'm doing this myself today. But I've got to say, absolutely loved it. Please like, please share and subscribe. Don't worry about hitting the bell. But if you could, it would really help. But uh, yeah, do that and we'll see you in the next one. Loading, loading, strap for the lyrics like I'm bowling, bowling. Pushing on, keep bowling, rolling. Hit it when they listen, but I told him, told him one more time. Your favorite MC's bronze or silver. These vibes here are golden, golden. Cards on the table, there's no folders. Spit more